Thank you. Well, ahead of tomorrow's jobs report, don't be surprised if this whole health care issue sort of creeps in and up because signs employers are slamming the brakes down on spending just to pay for this health care in the service sector alone. And that includes fast food workers. Total spending on benefits shrank by three tenths of percent in the first quarter. The first time we've seen that since 2002. What does that tell you? Well, it tells Wyoming Republican Senator John Barrasso that, uh, you know, this is going to drop further as these companies and others begin to cut back further. He blames the president's health care law. And by the way, this isn't just any old stealing out politician. This senator is a doctor. In fact, he's an orthopedic surgeon. Senator, good to have you. Thanks so much for having me. Like I said, I defer to your expertise, but even I looked at the numbers and said there was no way. No way. And this health care law is hurting jobs, it's hurting care, and it's hurting Americans' paychecks. I mean, those are the problems with this. It's an anchor around the neck of the economy. So what it's happened? What, what, did, what are they seeing? For Baucus to come out and Reed to come out, they're, they're, they're seeing something. What? Well, they're seeing the complexity of the law and the difficulty implementing it. They're also seeing that it's hurting the economy. We have 20 million Americans who are out of work, either unemployed or underemployed. Millions more have given up looking for work, and it's because of the impact of this health care law. Uh, you know, Neil, that uh, it has to do with how many full-time workers are with a company if they have to pay for the benefits. Uh, if they have more than 50, then they have to pay all of these for Washington-mandated, one-size-fits-all health insurance, which is very expensive. So businesses aren't hiring. They're keeping their numbers under 50. The other thing that's happened at a number of these bars, restaurants, and fast food places is uh, in terms of total number of hours. You're considered a part-time employee if you're under 30 hours. So even the, the city of Long Beach, California just came out and said for our 1,600 part-time employees, we're going to get your numbers down below 30 hours because if you're above 30, then you have to be considered so it had like a spillover effect. Now that, 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 by the way, the hours and the part-time and what would qualify, that is all spelled out in the 2,000-page bill that all these senators insisted they read, including Max Baucus, who, when caught on the subject, said, actually, I didn't read it by definition. This was at a famous town hall meeting. I want you to react to this. I would like to know if either of you actually read the health care bill before it was passed. I don't think you want me to waste my time to read every single word in a health care bill. You know why? It is statutory, written statutory language. It, it takes a real, real expert to know what the heck it is. We hire experts. They're over here. They work for me. They work for Secretary Sebelius. Who know what that is. Okay, if, if those are the experts you're hiring, uh, fire them. And while you're at it, fire yourself. Because I'll tell you, Senator, I mean, when that many people let you down and surprise you with costs that you might not have seen coming, um, the buck has to stop with somebody, but unfortunately it's stopping with taxpayers. Well, you know, Dr. Manny talked about the law. 1,700 times it says in the law that the Secretary of Health and Human Services will write rules and regulations. We've printed them off. There are 20,000 pages now of rules and regulations. It is a red tape tower that is over seven Amazing. feet tall. And They've missed deadline after deadline. The president said, well, we've been hitting the deadlines. He missed a deadline the day of his press conference. Did you but know this, Senator, that if you looked at the law backwards in a mirror, it says repeatedly, you're going to get reamed, you're going to get reamed, you're going to get... Did you know that? It's, <laughs> uh, I've been saying that on the floor of the Senate while before they voted, after they vote, and I continue to go uh, back to the Senate floor every week because the sad part is this is hurting... And now it's, it's, it's set in stone and we're, we're going to... It's we're hurting our economy and it's hurting our patients. It is. Uh, again, folks, I, I don't mean to make light of this, but I tell you, if something sounds too good to be true, uh, generally it is. Generally it is. It's